Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. So rolling background is needed in a many uh, game development games, and especially when you want to show a sprite or an entity moving forward with some speed. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to make an infinite rolling background in your Sina engine. And I've already created a rolling background uh, in some of the previous games on this channel, including the Flappy Bird game and the 3D car race games, as well as the Matrix Rain animation. And because this is such an important topic, I think it is worth to make an individual video on it and give some in-depth analysis, and I hope you like it. So I'm going to use the Flappy Bird game as an example to show how the rolling background works. So first, let's import the Yersna module and create a window. So from Yersna, import star. And we can set up our basic app just like this. And so if I decide to save and run this app, there's, we just have a gray screen uh, right here. And so now what we could do is add in our background. And to create our background, I'll create a variable and create an entity. Set so the model equal to a quad. Set so the scale equal to 20, 10 the texture and the texture is just going to be the image for our background and that is going to be a background PNG uh, that's a PNG image that I have saved on my computer and I set the Z to 0.1 so the Z index and now if I save and run this uh, now I have the background um, right there on my screen and when I'm setting the Z, uh, Z index to 0.1, Z position to 0.1, that just makes the image a bit further away from us. That will be easier for us to show the other entities that we'll create later. So when we run, uh, now we see that we have a background, but it's not rolling yet, so there's no moving. So next we'll create our bird entity. Instead of using a static image for the bird, we'll use an image sequence to create a bird animation. And now for my bird, I'll set bird equal to an animation. And now the animation is going to be my assets folder called bird. And now what I can do, I'll scale it up to 1.3 in the X, pointing on the Y axis. And I'll set the Y position to 1.5 initially. So if I save and run this, I'll reanimate all the images starting with bird in the assets folder. And I have four images in the assets folder, which is bird1 PNG to bird4 PNG. So when we run, we basically just see the seal of bird flapping its wings, but it doesn't look like the bird is moving forward. And so to make it look like it's moving forward, what we need to do is create this ruling background. So let's create a variable. I'll name it offset. And this is going to be just the offset um, for the background when it changes. And now what we need to do is also define a update function. And this is going to be called once per frame. So every single time this update function is called, we are going to uh, change the offset. And the, op the update function basically acts like a while loop in Pygame to keep the game running. So every single time this update function is called, we'll increase the offset by time.dt multiplied by 0.3. And we'll set the attribute of the background to the texture offset. And we'll pass in offset 0. So the offset on the x-axis is going to be this offset variable. And on the y-axis is going to be 0. So here, time.dt is going to be the time passed since the last frame. And we use it to make sure the animation will have the same performance no matter what kind of computer you're using. And point 0.3 is going to be the speed that the background is rolling. This set uh, ATTR is a Python function that sets the value of the texture offset attribute of the background entity. And like I explained earlier, uh, in the X and Y axes. So if we run this animation, so let me save and run it. 
we see that the bird is moving forward or to the right because of the background. And now we see that the background is rolling uh, infinitely uh, to the left. So how do we do this? We do this by constantly changing the value of the texture offset attribute of the background entity. And now if you want to move it faster, we can increase the speed. So I'll increase this offset instead of 0.3, let's change it to 0.6. I'll save and rerun. Now you see that the background is moving faster. And if you want to make it slower, let's change it to something smaller, like 0.1. And now the bird is going much slower. Or in our, uh, or to us, it looks like the bird is moving much slower. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below at the comment section. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.